Boyhood, The Grand Budapest Hotel, Birdman. Those are just some of the films with the most nominations for this year's Academy Awards. But according to Sports Guy turned movie guy, RTV6's Brad Brown, there were plenty of other movies deserving of an Oscar nod. So now that we've had a chance to get a look at the Oscar nominations, it's time to take a look at some of those performances that didn't quite make the cut. And I've come up with four that I'm really disappointed won't get a chance to take home the gold statues on Oscar Sunday. Let's start off in the Best Actress category and Amy Adams for her Golden Globe winning performance in Big Eyes. Now Adams was much deserving of that Globe's win. She was absolutely captivating in playing painter Margaret Keane, capturing the passion that the artist brought to her craft. And the interplay with Christoph Waltz in that movie was one of the best on-screen duos of the year, but the show belonged to Adams. The Academy voters clearly went highbrow on this one, instead giving a final five spot to Marion Cotillard instead of Adams. Now in the best actor category, we might be a little biased here in the TV news business, but Jake Gyllenhaal in Nightcrawler was simply awesome just not good enough to make that fantastic field of Best Actor nominees. Gyllenhaal's performance was transformative, playing the character of Lou Bloom, and from the first scenes of the movie, you can tell that he's not only a little bit off, but he falls somewhere between creepy and uncomfortable. Gyllenhaal, though, played it all to the hilt. I'm not sure he blinks more than five or six times in the entire movie. Anyway, it's simply a numbers game. Only five can get in, but it's a shame that this one got left out. Now, there are eight Best Picture nominees. Still room for two more in there, and I really hope the Academy voters would find room for Rosewater. John Stewart's directing debut was a fantastic movie. I really hoped it would get in. His effort was one of the most gripping stories of the year. It's a movie that not nearly enough people had a chance to see, but really you should give it a look if you get a chance. And then the last one was kind of a personal favorite of mine. You either took your kids to see the Lego movie or you went to see it yourself and be honest, you enjoyed it. It was one of the best animated films we've seen in many, many years. Beautiful visuals. A ton of funny moments, a great script all around, but again, looks like the Academy voters overthought this one. They went for a couple of foreign films that made the cut. They're good, but come on, everything is awesome, and you liked the Lego movie. It's too bad it won't get a shot. The song did, but not the movie in that best animated feature category. Now, hey, in the coming weeks, I'll have a chance to make some of my picks here, and we'll start things off next week in the best supporting actress category, but you can go online right now at theindiechannel.com and tell us who you think should be taking home those gold statues on Oscar Sunday. The countdown begins, and we're looking forward to it here over the next few weeks on our TV6 and the IndieChannel.com. I'm Brad Brown. We'll see you soon. Thanks for getting everything is awesome stuck in my head for the rest of the day. That's never a good thing. Just a reminder, our Oscar Sunday this year is just a few weeks away. It's on February 22nd. You can watch the 87th Annual Academy Awards live right here on our TV6. Red carpet coverage starts at 7 p.m.